It's Brother Brown, and today I want to show you how I customize my MX Master 3 for Premiere Pro. The cool thing about the Logitech MX Master 3 is you can use gestures for all of these buttons. My prior video I've spoken about it, and I'll provide the link in the description below. This is not the only way you can edit using this mouse. I just want to give you guys a starting point on how to edit faster, and then also give you the opportunity to grow and use different gestures that I've left out for you to make workflows faster. Okay, so for the manual shift button, pressing it, I just used the selection tool. This makes it easy so if I'm editing something on Premiere Pro, I can go back to my selection tool and move around my edit. For swiping right, I use the track select forward tool. If I swipe right, I can highlight everything to the right. For swiping left, I get the track select backwards tool. Pressing that, get the two arrows I press down, everything from behind the, that arrow gets highlighted. I can swipe up, I get the razor tool and I can cut really fast and then swiping down, I can use the delete. Okay, so for the speed adaptive tool, I use the screenshot, I use that for all my applications. For swiping right, I add a marker, just really nice and easy on the timeline. I can just add my marker, and then for swiping left, I use text, I can just quickly add a text, and then I am quickly able to type a text on my video, super nice and simple. For the gesture button, I use go to previous point for swiping left and for swiping right, I go to next edit point. Super easy, just get around my timeline nice and fast. For my forward button, just pressing it is my Premiere Pro redo, so just pressing forward. And then I use my in and out for my forward button. I can swipe left, my, set my in point and swipe right, my out point, and then I can just drag it onto my timeline. For my back button, I just have Premiere Pro back, and then for my horizontal scroll, I just have my horizontal scroll for my timeline, nice and simple. I've left a lot of gestures out, and that's because I want you guys to have a starting point where you edit faster, but also have room to grow where you're editing in your own way. Don't be frustrated at the beginning if it does take you guys a while to remember the gestures. Just know once you do, it's gonna make editing a lot faster on Premiere Pro. So that is how I use my mouse for editing on Premiere Pro. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Help a brother out, and I'll see you in the next video.